Coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Bruce Lee. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, even dating to his time on the Ultimate Fighter DC back in 2015, you got the sense very early on that Kamal Usman could be something special, as he has always put it. I'm a problem. He's a champion. He's a real problem. Yes, he is a problem because he has a pace and pressure that most guys can't handle. We saw it in the RDA fight. We saw it in the Woodley fight. And because his wrestling is so smothering, as he showed in the Marais fight, his striking opportunities open themselves up. Kamaru Usman, as you say, J.A., is a real problem for anybody at 107. And he's a loyalist. He has been true to his coaches, and we both Greg Jones and everybody else. Kamaru Usman has realized the dream. We'll try to take it to the next level here today. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go, round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. Oh! 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 He's done! He's done! He's gonna do something. Wow! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch, oh, takes him to the right, slams him on his back, what a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end, end of that? Not me. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Right hand punch from the clinch. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Oh, effective strike there by Kamaru Rush. Strong knee attempt, but it's blocked. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high crotch and just following the action. to his mouth. Just over two minutes now to go. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, nicely. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. 30 seconds to go. He changes the angle, finds the right spot. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is David. Round two winding down. Hey, stop! All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Oh, hammer fist here by Usman. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. repeatedly it could be a short night for his opponent but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming it landed flush and the rest as they say is history big knockout win for him here tonight all right let's get you some replays now certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LaVing has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon. Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment.